Uh, we've see. talked about the need for financial literacy in all sorts of ways. You were doing a lot of different things, but if you think there was one most effective approach to this, what would it be? Um, the workplace uh, and in schools, embedding this into how we live our lives. I mean, you know, telling somebody to get financial literacy is like telling somebody to eat their vegetables. They don't necessarily relate to it. They want money. They don't want to talk about it. But if you can embed it in how we live our lives, half of all em employee, employees report being stressed out, Andrew, on the job about money. The economy loses about $450 billion a year, Sharon it sort of hinted on this, every year because of financial uh, illiteracy. Sixty percent of this country don't have $500 for an unplanned event. Uh, but the fear can get, to, can get into your bones. Joe sort of suggested that and become a self-manifest destiny. His daughter is even working on and her way to try to improve this. I think this is a civil rights issue, Andrew, of our generation. And Doug McMillan and I, the CEO of Walmart, uh, have gotten together to co-chair an initiative to bring this into the Fortune 500 and embed this into the business plan of how corporations do business. This is like healthcare was 40, no, 30 years ago. It's like health wellness well, was how 10 do years you, ago. How do you do it so it isn't like, like eating, eating your vegetables, right? I mean, how, how do you do it so that employees want to participate in this? A reward system. Uh, first of all, you do it so there's not uh, in any way de-dignifying, so it's confidential, it's independent, it's, uh, it's something that no one knows is going on. But you reward people. At Operation Hope, we're raising credit scores 54 points in six months. Uh, people feel their whole life changes when the credit score goes up 54 points. 120 points in 24 months. You've heard me say this before. Nothing changes your life more than God or love than moving your credit score 120 points. That changes somebody's life completely. The cost of debt goes down. Uh, as Tony Resser, one of our co-founders, would say, nothing like uh, the, you know, the altar of cheap, uh, cheap credit, of affordable finance. So, uh, uh, so I think that by rewarding folks for good behavior, by giving them a chance to own a home, uh, which we've done at Delta Airlines, done at UPS for their employees, uh, helping to negotiate with their creditors, I mean, that's a big deal that we do for them, uh, to get, create standstill agreements. So these are all rewards, whether it's right. getting somebody out of a negative or creating a positive, it releases the tension uh, or the employee What's, or the student. John, what, so if there are business leaders that are watching you uh, talk about this this morning that say, look, I, we should be offering this to our employees, what is the cost to a business on, on almost a per-employee basis to offer a service like this? It's less than $20 per person per year. It's, it's almost nothing. And uh, it's, you almost cannot afford not to do it, Andrew. Uh, so that's why Financial Literacy for All has created this new mechanism. And we got, by the way, Wells Fargo and Edward Jones have joined our initiative today. I want to announce uh, their involvement. We have a, uh, a growing list of corporates who are committing at the CEO level to do this for a decade. But it's, it's cost effective. It's, again, it's almost more expensive not to do this uh, than it is to do it. Uh, the, we're also doing things at the, at the children's level. Uh, the Mayor uh, Andre Dickens in Atlanta is offering now a savings account for every kindergarten kid, uh, which offsets the fact that uh, college education is now 1,200 percent higher, Andrew, than 1980. 1,200 percent higher, my lord. So now we get the kids a savings account and financial literacy at kindergarten, and you come up and maybe corporations match that with an investment account. Now the kids three or four times uh, more likely to graduate from college if they have a savings account. That's all data driven. Uh, imagine, Andrew, if kids had what you and I had. Somebody talk to them at, at a young age about money. Uh, and you can mentor that versus mentoring something negative. Uh, and you have a savings account, a little, a little seed corn, uh, to grow your dream. The, this is a game changer for America. I like it, John. It's a great idea. It's a lot better than watching TikTok.